Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, guys, if you're looking for all 12, they're at the back of the video. A um, couple things, I have retired, so I'm devoting all my time to my channel. So I will be doing extendeds for all videos. If you're interested in an extended, the um, the information is in the description box below the video. You can either see it on Gumroad or on Vimeo. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box below the video. So let's get into... Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay. So you're getting some clarity about your person, your Two of Cups. You know, you're doing some soul searching. You might be getting some clarity. You're... I feel like with this, you may be holding back because you don't feel like they're in it all the way. You do want to be with this person. You're manifesting offering your cup I feel like you're not ready I feel like I'm not ready yet I'm not ready okay so I feel like oh you want to give this person you want something that's going to give you equal give and take right um I feel like you're being very strategic about you how you do this how you talk to this person, how, how you show yourself to this person. I feel like you're trying to be very peaceful and calm and balanced because you want a victory. Ooh, <laughs> Capricorn. Okay. I'm surprised it hasn't come in as a king of wands. I see it. I want it. It's mine. So you're secretly wanting to move forward but you're very nervous. You're trapped in your head. You want to communicate with this person, but you keep walking away. Okay. Um, feeling, feeling lost, feeling, okay. This is more about you're waiting. You're waiting under the bottom of the deck. You're waiting. You're contemplating this. You're figuring this out. Okay. You see somebody here, Capricorn, that just rocks your world. Okay. You have your eye on this person there, your wish that wish is in that jar right there. Right. You see that this is, you, you know, you've done some soul searching, you know, that this is your person, right? Like I see him, but I'm holding back from rushing in. Like you're like stopping yourself from, from running in, right? You want to be with this person because you've manifested this. You want equal give and take and something long-term and committed. Now you're being very strategic. You're being very strategic about how you communicate. Emotional communication, okay? Um, and trying to be kind of balanced and peaceful because you want to win. You want to win. You're hiding that you want to move towards this person because you're nervous. It's almost like you're, it's like you're, um, almost like, I feel like this person makes your hands sweat. They make you, they make you breathing, you know, like labored breathing. Like you just like, whenever you see this person, it just melts you. Right. But, but I feel like this is, this is you wanting to communicate. But every time, every time you communicate, it's like you walk away and feel, you know, sadness like you, or, or, you know, when you walk away and leave them, it makes you sad. Um, let's get into this. You got somebody out there that's just rattling your cage in a good way, but you're, it's almost like you're a little insecure here, maybe feeling a little insecure about this person, whatever this is, you know, you got to build your confidence. You got to, you got to take control of it because I feel like that might be the issue here. Um, you don't want to come in like a player. You don't, you don't. Um, this person, you want something long-term and committed with this person. You feel like this is the one, right? Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. There you go. See? You got your confidence here. You got your confidence. You got to come in like, I see it, I want it, it's mine. You got to take control, Capricorn. Because you've done the soul searching. This is your soulmate. You know it. You may recognize this person's soul. I'm, when, when twins see one another, 
they they don't recognize the physical aspect of the person they recognize the soul of that person you know because this is something that's cultivated over many lifetimes right so i need i say more you're holding on to your empress like you don't want to be a player because this is going to cause a lot of drama you don't want to just come in with that, with that, you know, I'm in and out, you know, like in a low vibration, because this is the king of wands in a lower vibration. You don't want to rush towards this person, rushing in, rushing out. You don't want to play that with this person because it will cause nothing but drama. You want to be with this person and you're deep in your emotions about this person. You're very much in your emotions about wanting to be with them. And you're manifesting this. Look at this. Manifesting, manifesting. Today is the new moon, guys. Today, the 25th of October. New moon. Manifest what you want. Release, release everything that doesn't serve you and manifest what you want. Your, your wish, your wish is to give this person equally. You want to give somebody who's going to give back to you, but you're at a crossroads about something long-term and committed. I almost feel like it's not that you've got the world in your hand, right? And I feel like you've got your hand on one wand. You don't know which direction to go to get what you want. That's what I'm feeling. So you're very strategic about how you move forward. You are. Because this is emotional communication about a relationship. You really want to lock it down. You do. You want to lock it down. Um, I feel like, see, there you are. You are trying to be very peaceful, balanced, patient. King of Pentacles, solid, stable, dependable, grounded, yummy energy, right? You want a victory here. You want a victory and a new passionate beginning. You want this to work out. You secretly want to move forward, but you're a little nervous. It's been a long time coming, and, and I feel like you... You miss somebody or you regret something from the past. Whatever this is, for a long time, you've regretted something from the past. You want to heal this. You, you're ready to move forward. You want to heal whatever was toxic. So you may know this person. You may know who this is. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a reconciliation, but maybe you had your chance with this person in the past and you didn't take it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you're looking back and with regret, like, oh, I know that this person liked me when I was younger. You know, we had a good connection and I went off and did other things and left this person behind, right? But that doesn't mean you cheated on them. It doesn't mean anything. Um, I feel like you're obsessed with transforming this. You're, you're obsessed with making this, making this work, right? You really, want, you really want this, right? I feel like there's communication. You don't want to... I feel like we're here, look, with the eight of eight of wands and eight of cups and the five of cups, you don't want to walk away with regret. You want to communicate. You don't want to walk away with regret. There is going to be communication here. And I feel like very emotional. Ooh, see, you don't even see it coming. Divine timings at play here. You don't, right? And I feel like you're daydreaming, holding on rushing in, making a decision, getting all the clarity you need to get a victory. You want to be successful in this relationship. You want this to be a successful relationship. I don't see it's going to be a problem. I think the only problem is you're nervous and you have to get your confidence together. That's what I'm seeing. You've got somebody here that, you is, that you're just ready to... to you're putting a ring on it. You watch, watch. You'll be married. You'll be married. Look, you're you're gonna put you're gonna put a ring on it. Ooh, things are flying out. Good luck. There you go. Good luck's coming your way, family. Wow, wow, wow. You're gonna get the answers that you want. You know, this is this is <laughs> this is you getting the answers that you seek. You know, family and good luck. Wow. Something's changing. Metamorphosis, right? Springtime. You may be, yeah, compromising, 
you know, back and forth thinking about things. You're in deep contemplation about, will this work? You know, springtime, things going to be changing. They're going to be changing. Under the bottom of the deck was a fresh start. Look at this. Wow, 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 Capricorn. Good for you. You got love coming in. You, you're going to lock it down with somebody. Soulmate. You want a second chance. Okay. So I'm not necessarily seeing that you, you screwed around or did anything that you shouldn't have in the past, but you may have known this person in the past and you may have had an opportunity that you didn't take. And now you're wanting a second chance with this soulmate. You do, right? You're really balanced. You're ready. You're ready, right? The here and now this person that you love is part of your life, your true love, right? Take that leap of faith. They're saying, stop obsessing. This is new love. This is new love. I love this. I love this Capricorn. Wow. What a great, let me get you all 12 signs. You've got new love coming in. You're going to be, I, I hear wedding bells ringing for, for you here in the near future. I do. I feel like you're ready to, to jump in with both feet and, um, have a family, work it out. Let's get you all 12 signs. Or Capricorn. Beautiful energy. I mean, there was nothing negative in this. Not one bit, Capricorn. That's a good, that is really, really good. Okay. Let's get into this. All 12 signs for Capricorn. Give me the energy for Capricorn, please. And then give me all 12 signs for Capricorn. King of Pentacles, new love. <laughs> you can't make that up. Wow. Okay. If you're dealing with an Aries, somebody's got burdens from their past. If you're dealing with a Taurus, there's a new beginning in passion and somebody doesn't want to miss an opportunity for a new beginning of passion. If you're dealing with a Gemini, somebody's, um, there's a harsh truth and somebody's either fighting back or blocking a harsh truth. If you're dealing with a cancer, somebody's trying to recover. Um, they could be recovering from somebody juggling them, or they could be making a decision to recover. Take it out. Resonates with you. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody's feeling the loss because of deception. If you're dealing with a Virgo, somebody's walking away single. If you're dealing with, oops, sorry, that's the wrong deck. If you're dealing, if you're dealing with a Libra, you've got the Knight of Wands and you're manifesting, rushing in, rushing out. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, somebody wants justice for something that was toxic. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they may be hiding a third party. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, they're looking at something from a different perspective about somebody they want to be with. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're reconciling with their queen of pentacles. They may be reconciling with you. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like there's something transforming into something long-term and committed. It could be two things. There could be ending of a marriage or there could be a marriage transformed. So take it how it resonates with you. So um, Capricorn, I see new love on the way to you. That's what I'm seeing. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you over on Gumroad or Vimeo for the Extended.